Since the beginning of the Doug Peterson era, the development of talent has become a focal point for the team. Whether it's star quarterback Carson Wentz, guys like Derek Barnett, or even cornerbacks like Rasul Douglas, the development of players both drafted and acquired through other means has become a cornerstone for the way the team wants to build. But there is one player who is so sorely underrated, it almost hurts me to make this video. Someone that since joining the team in 2016 has left a massive imprint on both the defense and special teams units. And the Eagles, Frank, frankly may not have achieved the levels of success they did without his presence. And that man is linebacker Camu Grugier Hill. The Eagles originally signed Grugier Hill off waivers from the New England Patriots after a standout season at a safety for Eastern Illinois football team. He immediately brought an interesting skill set to the table, one that I wrote about instantly in a film room back in the days when it was an article at phillysportsnetwork.com and someone asked me then why was I bothering writing an article on Grugier Hill? He wouldn't be on the team by the time week one rolled around but if we're looking back on that moment now Grugier Hill has led the team in special teams tackles for two consecutive years his 2.53 second 20 yard dash was almost a full tenth faster than Michael Kendricks who was a starter at the time he came in but it's his defense we want to talk about today because I feel like the Eagles don't just have a key special teams cogging Grugier Hill they have a starting linebacker something they toyed with during the 2018 season but just how much does Grugier Hill bring to the table it's time to dive into the tape once more for another episode of Eagles Film Room. Before we get started though guys, make sure you leave a like and hit that subscribe button if you're new around here. We want to build the biggest base of Philadelphia sports fans possible and we need your help to do it. And don't forget, you can get daily content from myself and all of our writers on phillysportsnetwork.com. What I really love about Grugier Hill's game is that he executes the fundamentals so, so well. And it's probably why he's such a standout on special teams. But Dalton Schultz comes down, number 86. He's going to be responsible for blocking Grugier Hill. Now, Ezekiel Elliott, however, is going to take that ball straight inside. It's what he does so well, getting those north and south runs and seeking space. But if we slow this down, look who makes the tackle. And it's all because of block shedding fundamentals. Grugier Hill gets up, locks out Schultz, rips away, keeps his head in the backfield the entire time and locates Ezekiel Elliott. Great fundamental play. This right here though is just outstanding. He's going to first take on a tight end, then he's going to take on a fullback and then he's going to bring down the running back. It's fourth and goal. This is a monumental situation and Grugier Hill comes up large once again. Look at the blocking fundamentals. He's going to get out of his stance, get straight underneath the armpits of the tight end, keeps his knees bent in a Z shape. That's fantastic. He disengages, then picks up the fullback, Gets knocked back a bit, but look at the momentum carrying. He's got his eyes peeking back, looking for the running back, and then gets his pad square, bends down, and makes an emphatic tackle in a clutch situation. I really don't think this play got the appraisal it deserved. Again, Camu Grugier Hill, the far left-hand side of your screen, the way he locks underneath, keeps his eyes pinned the entire time. He's always moving, always seeking the ball. That's exactly what you want your linebacker to do. Now, if we're talking block shedding fundamentals, which we saw a great example of there, here's another one. Again, looking out underneath, finding the ball. He's bringing down to Quan Barkley. He kind of gets lost in the huddle here, but if you just watch this really zoomed in onto Grugier Hill, number 54, locks underneath, bounces back, finds the ball. He's always got his head in the backfield looking for a way to make a play. And it's that kind of instinct that makes him so dangerous in run defense situations. His eyes are constantly looking at the quarterback. He's only reacting to what he sees from the ball carrier, none of the traffic around him. We see a perfect highlight of this against the Dallas Cowboys. Just keep an eye on where he's looking. Those eyes are fixed on number 21, Ezekiel Elliott. He goes to the outside, fills the gap, and immediately starts flowing in the opposite direction, reads the play ahead of him, and then look at that, even gets down, squares up to the running back, and pops him up. That's huge. You've got to get low and push upwards to drive momentum, and the fact that Grugier Hill ends up on top of Ezekiel Elliott kind of says all you need to know. This, in my opinion, was Grugier Hill's best game of 2018. The way he's able to leverage out of blocks, push to the sideline, He's flowing to the ball. And if you slow it down, you just really again get to appreciate those fundamentals. 
It all starts with the engagement. Now, if you watch Grugia, he'll get down to the line of scrimmage. His eyes focused on the running back. Then he gets under the armpits of the offensive lineman. That bit's key. And watch his outside arm. That's the one he wants to come down and wrap around. Disengage as well. Big time hit on Elliot. That's everything you could want from a linebacker. Now, the Eagles did use Grugia Hill in passing situations as well. But I really feel like he had an underrated impact at the line of scrimmage in run defense. We speak about his awareness throughout this video, but this play specifically highlights it better than most. There are two that ring to mind. This is one of them. Watch Grugia Hill press down to the line here. Now, at this point, he's swallowed up by a block. He's got his arms in the right point, but his body's outside into the gap. He knows he can't get off it, so he sticks his leg out and makes a tackle. The guy's got a sixth sense for where the ball is going to be, and it's just so helpful for this Eagles defense, something that prides itself on stuff in the run. Here, we see another example. Look at the outside arm, the outside leg that'll be free. He drives himself into the gap, gets down into that firm base, squares his pads and makes a tackle on the Cowboys running back. It's everything you could want from a run stuff in linebacker. Now Michael Bennett here makes a fantastic play. Really drives around the interior guard. It leaves a wide open book for Grugia Hill but again that tackling angle is so steady. His shoulders square, his head up and just drives into the path. This play though is very interesting. Watch him shoot the gap. The Cowboys have a fullback, they drive him in, and Grugia almost instinctively just throws him off and gets into the path of Elliot. What we're going to notice here is Grugia Hill, that sixth sense comes to mind once again. From the minute the ball is snapped, Grugia Hill knows that number 49, that fullback, is going straight for Nate Jerry. He'll cross paths and that leaves an open look. There you can see he's looking at the eyes, the fullback straight into the path of Jerry. Grugia Hill shuffles inside, wraps up Ezekiel Elliott. You don't get much better than that if you're talking about awareness. This is another one. We're going to see just a simple concept here from the Atlanta Falcons. It's man coverage and Grugia Hill comes down to meet Freeman, realises he's in pass protection and that leaves Julio underneath. So Grugia Hill comes back, immediately follows the eyes of the quarterback and gets in a position where even though the ball gets thrown out of harm's way, even though it's a harmless play, he's in a position where if that was a serious throw, he could have at least made an attempt to get in front of that ball. You see it here again. Matt Ryan's going to look that way, see Grugia Hill break, come off his first read, come back, and then because number 54 is underneath, he's got to toss that ball away. But this may be my favourite play from Grugia Hill. It's almost become a staple of the West Coast offence. You see what George Kittle does in San Francisco, it's very, very similar. This looks like a sprint out from the Colts. You've got 13 personnel, three tight ends to a bunch to the right. So it's either a heavy run or you're going to have a lot to worry about on the right hand side. This is designed to fool the Eagles defense so that underneath Eric Ebron can slip away completely unscathed, be wide open for the touchdown. This was the last play of the game. Play where Derek Barnett was able to sack Andrew Luck to knock that ball free and Luck was left thumping the floor because the Eagles snuck away a win. A win that they realistically didn't have in the books. So Ebron's going to sneak underneath. It's an outlet for Andrew Luck. Watch the play develop. Watch Grugia Hill, who sees Eric Ebron. At this point, he backs away. He's the only player coming back into his direction. He's patient. He doesn't follow traffic. Luck's got a very narrow window to make that throw. He can't because Grugia Hill's there. And then comes the pressure. And Derek Barnett brings down Andrew Luck. It's game over. And the Eagles win. Look at it from this view. There's Grugia Hill. Eric Ebron there with that just simple sneak route underneath. It's a nice slant, nothing too adventurous, but Grugia Hill keeps his eyes on Luck, then face to the tight end. The ball has to come out there. It can't because Grugia Hill can jump it. Luck has to tuck it away. Barnett gets to the Colts quarterback and that is the end of the game. Just another instance where Cary Grugia Hill comes up big once more. Look at this running back tackle though. This is a kind of another example of what we saw earlier. The play goes one way. The running back tries to get away from pressure and come back. Grugia Hill sees it come in all day long. But this is the other play I was on about. Similar to that leg sticking out, you don't see more Superman instincts than this. I don't know what Karagujia Hill is drinking, whether he has four half-time oranges instead of two, but watch this. You've really got to slow it down. It's a double tackle. So he pops the ball out that comes away on a lateral. Karagujia Hill sees this and immediately leaps out in a breakdancing move to tackle the receiver with his legs. Two tackles in one play and Grugia Hill wins the game for the Eagles. That's twice. And then this is something I spoke about in the last film room I did in Grugia Hill, which is around June of last year. His closing speed and the angles he takes. The guy ran a 4.540 yard dash time and it shows up time and time again. Just look at this. At this point, perfect positioning comes down, 
just pops a Giants linebacker. You couldn't ask for much more than that. But when you watch it back in slow motion, there he is, number 54. You've got a heavy formation to the outside. You know you're going to see some attention, but he's disciplined, keeps his eyes in the backfield. Watch him follow the eyes of Eli Manning, stay nice and compact, doesn't fully close his hips. The minute the ball is released, he breaks the moment the ball leaves the hands of Eli Manning. That is what you're looking for in a linebacker, someone that watches the hands of the quarterback and the ball, nothing else around him. You can see him also getting down and dirty in pursuit. This is someone that will run sideline to sideline very quickly. It was something they lacked from Michael Kendricks prior to his breakout, but here he is starting on the left-hand side of the formation. It's man coverage. He's accounting for Ezekiel Elliott and just watch him follow the eyes, follow the eyes all the way down. Big angle, big tackle. I don't know what more you could want. Now here he is again, lined up at the line of scrimmage and watch where he actually brings down the ball carrier. Although Ezekiel Elliott has got to sift through some traffic, it's Grugier Hill who lined up on the complete opposite side of the hashes to come down and make that play. It's an outstanding run and something again, his athleticism just doesn't get enough praise. He is someone that is so fundamentally sound that has every athletic trait you could want. That's why he's so effective on special teams. And as a back-to-back -back tackle leader on Dave Phipps unit, you can see why. This is a view that will give Eagles fans nightmares, but it shouldn't. This iteration of the Sticks defense, they kept Grugier Hill down to the line of scrimmage to blow up a screen that will pick up yards underneath. Something they were hurt by against Tennessee. And there's a the closing speed. There's a the squared pad. Like a freight train, Grugier Hill was having absolutely none of it. Watch it again from this view. The guy just comes storming down like a ton of bricks. I don't know what more you could want. That's how you play Sticks defense. He sifts it out. And then there's a guy with leadership potential. He's pointing things out. He's moving Rodney McLeod one spot inside. Why? He's seen this before. Because that guard is going to try and come up and block Jordan Hicks. The fullback is going to come up and take Grugier Hill, leaving them with a nice open window. If you get Rodney McLeod inside one step, both players fill those interior gaps. The running back has to bounce outside or follow his fullback. And at this point, McLeod's got room to Freeman. You can see the fullback coming inside for Grugier Hill. Freeman has to wait. Grugier Hill leverages well and brings down the... Well, he tries to bring down the Falcons running back. He eventually tumbles to the ground. But it's that level of awareness of seeing a play he's seen before, getting guys lined up properly. This is a guy with pro bowl potential and not just as an alternate, not just as a special teamer. I really do think, as I did from the minute I first saw Grugier Hill's tape at Eastern Illinois, I think this is a guy that does have pro bowl potential. He's in his contract year. He's got to make a name for himself. And if he's not kicking, if he's not snapping, if he's not leading the team in special teams tackles, he should absolutely be a shoe in for a bigger role on this Jim Schwartz defense. But let me know what you think, guys. Drop your comments down below. And from myself, Liam Jenkins, you can follow me at Liam Jenkins PSN at Philadelphia SN. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Eagles Film Room. I'll see you next time.